dynamics is a branch of mechanics concerned with bodies that have accelerated motion so to introduce dynamics we have engineering mechanics it is divided into two we have first the statics and here dynamics so is statics concerned with equilibrium of a body at rest or moving at constant velocity therefore the body does not accelerate so no change in velocity while dynamics concerns with the body that has accelerated motion so dynamics has two branches so we have kinematics and kinetics so kinematics is only concerned with the geometry of motion while kinetics studies the forces that cause the motion so in the next videos we will uh, further discuss both kinematics and kinetics as a part or branch of dynamics so in understanding dynamics we need to know the concept of position velocity and acceleration so position is used to specify the location of object at a given instant so it is in reference of something so there must be a reference location or reference point for example this is your reference zero so this is your reference and your particle is here so with respect to the ref reference this describes the position de denoted by the variable s so this gives the distance s of the particle with reference to the position zero is your position so in connection with the position we have displacement displacement refers to the change in 
position. Or in other words, this is your delta S. So if your position here is S with respect to the reference, then the object moves here. So this is the change in position delta S. Now, the new position S prime, this is your displacement. So we are done with the concept of position. Now, what is velocity? So, what's the dis difference between velocity and speed? So, velocity, this is a vector quantity. Meaning to say, this has something to s do with the direction or the position of the object. So, velocity is the rate of change in position with respect to time. So, it is often um, denoted by V. So this is having a unit of either meters per second, kilometer per hour, miles per hour, and so on. So it is the change in position with respect to time. Speed is the magnitude of the velocity. So it doesn't have to do with the um, direction. So this, this is a scalar quantity. Now we have also the average speed. So this is the total distance traveled over total time. While the average Velocity refers to the displacement over total time. So that gives the difference. So total distance traveled, for example, we have here a particle then it moves at a distance like this so this is the total distance traveled while the displacement this is the change in position so this is the displacement over time so this is being referred by the average velocity total distance traveled the distance here over the total time is being referred by the average speed now if you have speed you also have acceleration acceleration is the rate at which 
the velocity of an object changes over time. So if we make this um, functions, so we have the acceleration A is equal to the change in velocity delta V over delta T. In calculus, this is dV over dt. While your velocity is equal to the displacement over time or delta S over delta T. So this is dS over dt. So acceleration as a function of time, velocity as a function of time. Another equation, so we can equate your dt here, dt for velocity is equal to ds over v. Now for acceleration, dt is equal to dv over a. Now, if we equate this, we have ds over v equals dv over a. And then, by cross-multiplication, the differential equation for the acceleration as a function of velocity, we have a ds is equal to v dv. So, these are the three equations that we have to be familiar with when it comes to dynamics.